My Days in the Life in Taiwan. But before I got here, it all started in LAX. Hey everyone, I'm at LAX right now. I'm super excited to share. I'm gonna be going to Taiwan and then Singapore to meet with my college best friend. This is my college graduation trip before I start work full time. I got on the plane, I booked China Airlines. It's around a 13 hour ride from LAX to Taiwan. I kept myself occupied by watching movies. The plane also provided meals. This was my dinner, breakfast. I also played a lot of games on the plane. And then after such a long flight, I arrived to Taiwan pretty late at night. I was scared I would have jet lag because it's afternoon time in California, but I had a pretty hard time falling asleep on the plane, so I was able to fall asleep right away at the place I stayed at. I definitely still had jet lag though because I was able to fall asleep right away, but I still woke up at 4 a.m. in Taiwan. So I decided to go to my favorite convenience store in Taiwan, 7 Eleven. I love the 7 Eleven here. There's so many more options in food and drinks. Look at all the snacks! I love all the Taiwan flavors of American snacks. Ice cream! Cup noodles! Taiwan cup noodles are so good. Okay, this might sound weird, but I really like Taiwan milk. It tastes really different from American milk. But the biggest reason I love Taiwan 7 Eleven is all the meal options you can get here. This ta sao ball was my super early breakfast. It was still pretty early at this point and I couldn't fall back asleep, so I just edited the previous video I uploaded. After a few more hours, places were finally starting to open, so I went to go get lunch. I got sukiyaki. I went to Soshi Sao Eating. This restaurant serves sukiyaki, which is a Japanese hot pot dish. You cook the meat and vegetables in a shallow iron pot that has a mixture of soy sauce, sugar, and mirin. The dish has a sweet and salty flavor. This restaurant was all you can eat and also all you can drink. And all you can dessert. After lunch, I was actually feeling very tired because of the jet lag, so I took it easy today and all the adventures began tomorrow. I started off my day again at a convenience store, this time Family Mart. All the convenience stores in Taiwan have so many cool things, so my goal is to go to all the different convenience store brands. I then got the same breakfast as yesterday and then went off to adventure. I took the light rail transit and then transferred to the MRT to get to Beitou. Beitou is actually most known for its hot springs and natural green spaces, and I really hope I get the chance to come back to experience all of that. I actually came here today because I wanted to go to the Beitou Shitang, but when I got there, I learned it's closed on Mondays, so I just walked around the area and found a place to eat lunch. We ordered lu doufu, go wan tang, lo gen tang, and ga li fan. After lunch, we went to Gao Ji Cha Zhuang. They're most known for their honey green tea. I can absolutely attest because it was super good. Then I walked around the area some more to see if there was anything I wanted to eat or take back with me. I got some fruit and I got hu jiao bing. Hu jiao bing, or pepper bun, is one of the most popular street foods in Taiwan. It's a sesame seed bun filled with peppered pork. And that was my time in Beitou. I hope to come back soon for the hot springs and Beitou Shitan. Now I'm off to Dan Sui. I got to Dan Sui. Fun fact, the English spelling of Dan Sui was originally spelled D-A-N-S-H-U-I, which is based on the Mandarin pronunciation. But in 2011, the spelling was changed from D-A-N-S-H-U-I to T-A-M-S-U-I, which more closely resembles the Taiwanese language pronunciation of the name. I got to Dan Sui Lao Jie Guang Chang. Here you can find an old train from the Taipei to Dan Sui railway line. I then walked over to Dan Sui Jing Se Sui An. I love the scenery and environment. It was very calm and peaceful. 
You can also see the beautiful Guan Yin San. The mountain was named after the Buddha of Compassion, and many people think the mountain's shape resembles a reclining Guan Yin. There are a lot of shops and food places here, so I walked around. I'm going to show you all what I saw along the way. I saw jumbo ice cream and I really wanted it, but I was so full, so I'm going to get it next time. I also noticed there's a lot of claw machines here. I don't even bother trying anymore because I know I'm not going to win. <laughs> Then I stumbled upon another ice cream place I really wanted to go to. There's so many good food places here that I need to come back to. Here I saw people lining up to take a ferry to Fisherman's Wharf in Bali. I hope to come back to do this next time. This mountain is truly magical. It followed me everywhere. Then I walked to Danshui Lao Jie. I'm gonna take you all along what I passed by. There's also a lot of shops and food places here. And more claw machines! Has anybody ever won anything from this? Then I stumbled upon the cutest store I've ever seen my entire life. How can anyone go to a store like this and not want to buy anything? It's so cute! Stores like these are why I brought an empty suitcase back with me to Taiwan. <laughs> I'm definitely coming back here in the future. Then I went to go get some takoyaki. I really love how with street food you can watch the food being made in front of you. The takoyaki was really good. I highly recommend this place. Then I walked around some more. Then I found a place that sold mini fans. I decided to buy one because it was so hot. And now I had a fan. It was so great. Then I found a place to get dinner. I ordered gamian, yuan tang, and lo wan. And that sums up my time in Tansui. It was so much fun. I really love the scenery and the food. I hope to come back again soon. The next day, I went to the airport because Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked what you saw. Subscribe to see my vlogs of my Asia travel. The next one will be about my time in Singapore. You can also follow me on Instagram at Melody to get live updates on what I'm up to. Bye!